What's up guys, Enrique here, broker and team leader with PRG Real Estate, coming at you with another video for the week. Uh, this is for all my real estate agents, my entrepreneurs out there, and what's on my mind today, guys, what I wanna talk about is, are you playing the defense game or are you playing the offense game? And here's what I mean by that. Uh, for the people that are in our industry right now, if you guys are reading the headlines and seeing what's happening, there's a lot of changes out there uh, in our in our space, right? Uh, I think Zillow just announced today that they they're buying out Showing Time, which is this platform of how buyers can you know show homes and, and get access to properties. Uh, I saw that posted on Facebook, and I started reading through the comments and stuff. And you see, it's it's kind of split right in the middle. You see, actually maybe it's not so split in the middle. You see a lot of people who are just pissed off and angry about this, like Zillow's taking over. Zillow's going to crush our business. They're trying to take the broker out and all that stuff. And whether your opinion is that or not, that's not, you know, that's, that's besides the point. But for me, what stood out is, is guys, we have a choice, right? We have a choice on how we look at this thing. There's going to be changes in our business. The, the market's going to shift. The market's going to evolve. You know, technology has, has been disrupting our business, but you got to think like, am I going to play the defensive side here? or Am I going to play the offensive side, right? Am I going to take the stance of like, you know, complaining or am I going to do something about it? Right. Um, I remember I met this guy who, who owned a bunch of rental properties and a uh, super successful guy had a bunch of commercial properties and, and he's been building his real estate portfolio. And he said a quote to me and he said, well, a lot of people out there focus on saving more money, right? Figuring out ways to save money or cut expenses. I like to focus on ways I can make more money and emphasize that, right? And go after that. And it goes back to the defense and offense stuff, guys, right? Like we can either choose to, you know, complain about what's happening or we can figure out ways to adapt and continue to push our business forward. Um, I know from my personal, uh, uh, my personal history in the business and uh, my personal experience, I, I mean, is what has made my partner and I and my team successful is we're always looking at how we can pivot and how we can move our business forward with the changes that come on the market, right? We're not waiting for uh, the market to kind of dictate what we're gonna do. We're staying on top of it, we're staying ahead. If the market's going one way, we go with the market. We ride that current and we push forward. So the message I wanna leave with you guys today, for those of you guys that uh, maybe are having a hard time with this is number one is is you got to just control what you could control you're not going to be able to control the whole world things are going to happen uh, disruption is going to come in uh, if you're in this business long enough you're going to see the business evolve and change over time but you just got to control what you can do and how you're going to either take advantage of that or create opportunities for yourself um, the other thing guys is just stop overthinking it just you know, instead of, you know, dwelling on, you know, why isn't this going my way or why are these things happening? You got to take action, you know, and by taking action, that's the only way you're going to push through these barriers. That's the only way you're going to fight any of these changes that are happening. So that's the message I got for you guys today. I hope this message finds you well. If you need anything, hit me up. Peace.